reaction between metal and non metal we have previously read about the reactions between metals and non metals let us review some of them so for example here when we see that magnesium is the metal and this is the non metal all these things decide are the metals and all these things are the non metals okay so the reaction between the metals and non metals so what is the product so when magnesium is the solid state when you see all the metals are in the so, uh, solid state solid 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 and all the solid and here all these non metals are in the gaseous state only phosphorus and the sulfur is in the solid state but they are soft so when the metal is reacting with the non metals so what is the product it is giving is magnesium oxide so oxygen is when the non metal oxygen is adding with the magnesium it becomes a oxi oxidized so the addition of oxygen we call it as a oxidation so magnesium oxide when the oxygen adding with another element now it becomes not the oxygen it becomes a oxide so we read it as a magnesium oxide so when the addition of oxygen is called as a oxidation removal of oxygen is called as a reduction so this non metal it is losing the oxygen and it is adding with the magnesium so it is metal is oxidized non metal is reduced so copper oxide and iron oxide fe means iron na mg means magnesium so magnesium nitride when the nitrogen is adding with the magnesium it is called as a now we don't say magnesium nitrogen we call it as a magnesium nitride when the chlorine is adding with the sodium we don't say sodium chlorine sodium chloride like the phosphorus when it is adding with another element we don't say cm means calcium phosphorus we call it as a calcium phosphide okay so oxide nitride chloride and phosphide okay so these are the reaction between the metals and non metals so metals and non metals react with one another to form ionic compounds here the metal is oxidized and non metal is reduced so metal is gaining the oxygen so it is oxidized and non metal it is uh, losing so it is the reduced now reaction between the non metals so here it is not in the line we will see now here the reaction between the non metals na carbon is a non metal plus chlorine is also non metal when the chlorine is reacting with the carbon carbon is in the s means solid state and g means in the gaseous state so it gives a carbon c 2 into 2 4 so cl 4 this a 4 is down means it is belong to only the chlorine so c c l 4 okay so you see h2 plus cl 2 2 hcl uh, hydrochloric hcl means what hydrochloric acid na and then pcl 3 phosphorus chloride okay so here like this phosphorus chloride so when the uh, non metals now if you see in the down reaction of non metals with the oxygen so we can see here now carbon plus oxygen giving the carbon dioxide so and first one we saw when it is reacting with the chlorine we got we got ccl4 na so among these non metals which is more electronegative means uh, o is the more electronegative oxygen chlorine is more electronegative carbon is less electronegative this carbon is also less electronegative when we get the result when we write the compound product compound always less electronegative must be first and the more electronegative must be second here oxygen and chlorine are the more electronegative that is why in the products always chlorine chlorine and oxygen we get at the end okay hcl okay so then h2so4 
like this na so why do why always oxygen comes at the end means because oxygen is more electronegative more electronegative elements we should write at the end that is why oxygen always takes place at the end and chlorine also then afterwards uh, slowly sulfur nitrogen and phosphorus okay so okay so just underline this point remember that while writing the chemical formula of compounds keep the less electronegative element before the more electronegative element since the electronegativity of both oxygen and chlorine is more as compared to the other elements therefore they are written last in the chemical formula of compounds just underline this point now we see the nature of oxides of non metal so what is the oxides non metal nature here is one example here they have taken the sulfur okay so when they heat the sulfur heat means when the ox when it is uh, sulfur when it is uh, reacting with the oxygen it becomes a sulfur dioxide now when we heat the sulfur okay so it gas is collected inside now this gas uh, this gas is added with the water when it is added with the water it makes the acid okay so that is why the sulfur carbon gases which are released from the vehicles first when they re react with the oxygen in the atmosphere they make the carbon dioxide or sulfur dioxide slowly when they react with the water they form the acid so here also co2 when it is react with the water they form the acid okay so litmus paper na litmus paper red litmus paper changes sorry blue blue litmus paper changes into red color means it is the acid so here is the here is the equation if you take page 184 we can see okay so so2 reacting with the water and it is giving the h2so3 okay so this is the h2so4 means sulfuric acid so this is one acid okay so it is acidic in nature so non metals can form the acids so here are some questions are here look up the names of different acids used in the laboratory and find out the non metals that make them up so carbon nitrogen sulfur they form the acids they non metals but they when they react with the oxygen and water they form the acids carbon nitrogen sulfur and phosphorus also then non metals are electronegative why because non metals will be gaining the electrons to fill their octet to fill the outermost shell that is why non metals are more electronegative when i say you can write the answer side by and third question you are given an element how will you identify whether it is a metal or non metal give, give three means so we can we know the properties if the element is soft means it is the non metal if it is hard it is metal when we beat the uh, element if it is uh, becoming a powder brittle means it is non metal and if it is becoming like a thin sheet and taking different shapes means it is called as a non metal and then metals are lustrous that means they shine but non metals non lustrous they don't shine so by looking at the properties we can say which is metal and which is non metal thank you students